Hello guys, long time no see. Welcome to your weekly reading for the 4th to the 10th of December with me and Lorian. It's a pleasure to bring you these readings. Um, my monthly ones should be done and should be uploaded. Um, but from today until the new year, I'm just going to see how it kind of figures out with the weekly readings since university. I, I work at university since that's actually ending now uh, until the new year. So hopefully I'll have time to actually work on some weekly readings. Um, and also with the full moon readings and stuff like that. So looking like it's going to be a busy December, but I'm prepared to do these weekly readings for you guys. So we're going to be doing the Archangel Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue, just to see what kind of information comes through. Now this is a general reading for all signs, um, but if you do want a private session with me, all you have to do is click on the link in the description box below, it'll take you to my website, or if you want a 2018 forecast, um, the, it's, all the information's on there anyway. And if you do want to email me, it's laurientarot at gmail.com. So without further ado, Let's have a look and see what comes through for you guys, or for us all, really. And you may have noticed I'm wearing my glasses. I always think like I look a little bit like my grandma in these glasses, because she used to have very similar frames. Let's have a look. Okay. Whoa, okay, so something happened there. Leadership is the first card. And they're just saying pick from the top. Then we have Divine Order. And then we have Healthy Lifestyle. And then we have Spread Your Wings. So let's see what we can get from this. Just seeing if anything's coming in. So because it's kind of like coming to the start of the big holiday season, as some places it's already started, um, and the Christmas vibe and things that are happening around this time, some of us are going to be feeling like we are not able to cope or not able to really do much. Um, so it could be that we're not really understanding as to exactly what we're trying to do. Um, it could be that we have like 50,000 presents to buy people or you know we feel stressed because we have no money um and we have this feeling of you know it is basically gone full commercialized with regards to christmas um and we can feel pressure to provide we can feel pressure to provide the best presents the best things but really from a pagan's perspective um this is not the right way to go it should be about the joy of the earth and to be about that kind of um, celebration that the longest night is now done. Sorry, the sh yeah, the longest night is now done. And now we are now moving into the next cycle and we can experience this nice holiday with friends and this kind of um, joy that we've survived another year, basically. Um, so that's basically what we should be doing. But instead, we're taking out some leadership because we need to control um, the amount of, I think, adverts that we consume. And we need to also control our own emotions a little bit. This is for some of you guys who feel extra stressed around the holidays. Try and, no, you don't necessarily have to suppress your emotions. That's not what this is. You just control them a little bit. So you basically say, I'm not going to blow up at my child in the middle of Sainsbury's. And that's kind of what you have to do. Okay, I'm not gonna shout from the rooftops at this person who just cut in front of me in the bus queue. It's that sort of feeling. So although you may be feeling very fresh, you lead by your example this this week. I'm gonna say this month, but yeah, this week. Um, I think it's very positive. Um, what does it actually say? It's a great time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. So yes, I think this is necessary. Um, you will be guiding a key factor, I think, for um, Christmas holidays, Hanukkah, um, this kind of thing, and I feel like there's going to be a lot of possessions being exchanged, but it's not necessarily gifts 
minutes, if that makes sense. There's going to be a lot of things that are passing between each other, knowledge and um, experiences. So that's that. Divine order. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Well, it's true. Uh, look past the illusion and see the underlying order. I kind of have to agree that we are experiencing at the moment some divine order. Um, but it can make you feel very lost. Uh, so they're getting, they're giving me some kind of two different things. So then I'm going to diverge. I'm going to say the first one and then the second one. So the first one is where you feel like it's okay. So maybe that didn't work out, or maybe I have too much stuff to do, or maybe I have um, something else that I need to do in the background. I think that you are understanding now that there is a general pattern to things that are coming through for you guys um, and now you're just going to kind of okay universe take me where I need to go I trust in you now for those of us who may want a little bit more control we may feel lost because something didn't work out or that we didn't we're not where we expect it to be at the end of this year we're not we haven't achieved what we expected to achieve at the end of this year this is because there's still some things that are coming through so you know, it may lead into next year, basically. Time is a man-made construct, and we all imagine that we're supposed to have done certain things, but everybody's path is different. And this is what this is kind of saying. We all have divine order, and we all have this feeling of, um, oh, we need to do this now, we need to do this now. But we just have to take some moments to be. And for those of us who do want more control, you may not feel comfortable if there's a particular dream or a particular event or a particular need that you really, really want. Say, I really want a family or I really want to get this big job. You may not really feel like handing over that control to the universe because it's not on your schedule, if you know what I mean. So some of you may not be ready to start a family, but you've already started a family and you're like, oh, I have no idea. Um, so it works both ways. But I think that we're learning and we're learning how to cope this week with something that puts in in the way. Something gets in the way, I think. But hopefully it won't be illness because we have healthy lifestyle here. So eat a healthy diet, get a good sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. Hmm. Basically what it says on the tin, we are going into a gluttonous phase. Um, hibernation as well for those of us in the northern hemisphere where it's like minus four outside which is is here um but i think it's natural thing to especially over a break to basically gluttonize and have this kind of also this is this is not just food and what we put in our mouths this is what we consume on a day-to-day -day basis the news we consume the um people that we're around the information that we believe so yeah i don't think this is um I don't think this is just healthy diets. I think this is a diet of what we, what TV we watch and stuff like that. What radio we listen to. Because if it's toxic, it'll get into us and we don't want that. So make sure this week that if there is any awful news, if there's anything being blown out of proportion, that you kind of look past it and just look, focus on your own thing. Similarly, and they're just giving me an example now, is comparing yourself to others. So if somebody has wonderful news, and if somebody has something really good happen to them this week, and you're really obviously very happy for them as well, you could be feeling like, oh, and the more good news you hear, the more you kind of go down because you haven't reached that, or you have no good news to share. So I think that's the kind of thing that we need to be wary of this week as well. But spread your wings. Um, do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you're ready to soar. So again, divine order, the timing of things. We may just have to be... They showed me um, a slingshot, so we're currently holding back, you know, we're back here and we're preparing to be launched forwards, some of us. Some of us have already been launched forwards this year, um, so we're, we're preparing, prepared to launch back and this is where our wings will come into play. We're earning our wings with every delay, with every thing we look at something and we go, hmm, I'm using my intuition, I don't think this is right. Like this news reader, I don't think this is right. I have no idea why, but I really do not think this is correct. So this is kind of what we have to do, um, is kind of assembly our own information, 
but ultimately I think this is coming through to say be prepared 2018 is your year go I actually do have a really good feeling about 2018 and I am going to do the um, 2018 forecasts um, I'll probably do them in threes for instance water signs in one video air signs in another and so so it doesn't get a bit confusing um, but I actually do feel good about 2018. This year was supposed to be a breakaway from 2016, which it has been in a big way. We have seen a lot of voices heard, which is good. We've seen a lot of advancement. We've seen a lot of changes, fundamental changes, rip down of systems, um, spreading away and clearing away some of the ick, some of the ick, not all, in order to establish something new in 2018. So I think that this is going to be a very, very good year. Um, some of us will have our own trials, but we'll see what comes through in the general readings. But again, if you do want a personal private session with me for 2018 or just a reading in general, um, you click on the link below. Or if you want to become a patron of mine, the link there is also available. Um, but this, I think that's it for this week. So we need to reduce what lies we're consuming. We need to reduce the amount we're, of stress that we're putting on ourselves and just be prepared and cleanse ourselves this month to go forwards. Focus on the quality and not the quantity. I think that's the main message of this week. Um, but let me know how things go for you guys in the comments below. Thank you as always for watching and taking the time to share this journey with me. Um, and it's really nice to kind of go face to face to, your, to you guys again. Um, so yeah. Let me know how things go. Blessed be everybody. And I wish you an absolutely wonderful, wonderful start to December.